guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. At Adrenaline Rush, we've created a Kite Fit program where we look at improving our abilities in the gym to then improve our abilities on the water. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the next exercise. Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. This exercise we're gonna get into today is just the body weight squat. We're gonna start right back to, uh, to keeping it simple. We'll master that and then we'll look at uh, more advanced squats in the future, okay? So getting into the body weight squat, Basically, there's a couple of th key things we need to understand in setup that's going to be the same for our front squat, back squat, overhead squat, and our body squat. And we should also take these uh, principles in play when we set our boards up uh, with our boots and straps, but we'll get into that in the future. So getting into the body weight squat, basically I want to set my feet up properly. So what I mean by properly is correct toe out angles to start off with. So Trying to understand what your toe out angle is, is uh, not just a guessing game, but you can actually test it. So if you lift your leg up and relax, notice how my leg naturally hangs with a certain like, toe out angle. So what I'm gonna do, and that's roughly gonna be my angle of my squat. So now you've noticed that I've put my feet um, around sort of hip to shoulder width apart. Now that's just where I feel comfortable when I squat. So your squatting stance may be a little bit different to mine. We all build differently. We have different segment lengths between like our femur and our calves and, and our shins and all that sort of stuff. So take that into consideration. So with the squat, basically what you want to try and do is keep your knees out um, over your toes. And by over my toes, not necessarily meaning out and forward. Don't worry about if they do go past the toes. That's just a myth. Uh, your body will move the way it needs to. But I'm talking about going tracking over your second toe. So if this is your big toe, your second toe here. Reason being is our knee is a hinge joint, only moves like a standard hinge. Doesn't like to have a whole lot of lateral force involved, okay? So if we, when we squat, if our knees dive in, we've got a lot of lateral force on our ligaments that we don't want, uh, we don't want there, okay? So first movement, knees out, knees come out, coming down full depth and up. Now full depth might be different for you as it is to me, but basically what we're looking for is hip crease below the top of the knee whilst under tension. So what I mean by under tension, if I come down, back is nice and straight, knees are out, I'm under tension here, this is my bottom position. Now if I relax, notice that my knees dive in, I sink down a little bit lower, it's just not a really stable position to be in, okay? So under tension, relaxed. We don't want to get to this position here, okay? So bodyweight squat, nice and simple. We figure out our toe out angle by lifting our legs. F set our feet somewhere between hip, uh, hip and shoulder width, whatever's comfortable. Coming down, keeping our knees out over our second toe, and then coming back up. That's the bodyweight squat. Uh, it's quite important to be able to master that before we get into any weighted squats. And it's also good to really build a habit of a good bodyweight squat, so then when you land hard and out kiting, that you're gonna dissipate force evenly. So I'm Braden from Adrenaline Rush. Thanks for watching this video. It's part of our Kite Fit program. And uh, check us out in the future. Cheers, guys. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.